Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 8, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, everything else affecting humanity, disaster alerts as they happen. Starting out here always with the sun. Last 48 hours. Looking at incoming imagery here. Cresting sunspot, southwestern region. As well, plasma filaments erecting off the northwest. Outgoing images here. Sunspots relieving a little bit of energy. But nothing major and nothing shot our way. Just having a quick look here at the earth-facing sunspot. And as well off the northeast region, watch this large zap. Turned it into a negative so it's not so bright. But yeah, that plasma filament jumped right across the northeastern limb there. Looking here at multi-spectrum. Plasma filament there in the southeast region. And no more Earth-facing coronal holes to talk about. Just going to be keeping an eye on this large cresting activity. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, showing no events thwarted our way. Real-time solar wind. We are back down now to about 400 kilometers per second. Still slightly elevated, but not as fast as the 550 kilometers per second as it was yesterday. Geomagnetic activity still remains low. Solar proton flux is raising a little bit. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a healthy vibe going on, power of 44. Quality, 8.6. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours across the world, brought to you by Walton. Earthquake 3D, this is an app that everybody can get. We're going to start out here, most recent, with the 4.6 deepest earthquake today, 211 kilometer depth, and they've been rocking today, largest and deepest, 5.7 they saw today, and as well a 4.7. So very busy Papua New Guinea, and as well Gorontolo, Indonesia, 5.3 today. Yiga, Yigo Village, Guam, seeing a 4.8, 90 kilometer depth, and Japan off the coast, Seeing some action today as well, a large 5.3, 4.8, and 4.9 there, just on the northern tip on land. But yeah, definitely some action coming back to Japan as well, 4.9 here reported Russia. Russia's been pretty quiet recently, considering I reported many large earthquakes throughout the three to four years that I've been broadcasting here on YouTube. Just saying. Overlooking Hawaii, the largest earthquake today, 3.0 at a 36-kilometer depth. Eerily quiet through Alaska. Lots of activity here through the Caribbean plate. They did see a 4.0 this morning. Virgin Islands, Santa Cruz, USA. And as well, another 4.0, 3.7. So very active Caribbean plate. Across the United States here couple earthquakes New Mexico White City and as well activity continuing Calipatria but the swarm has ceased pretty much Nevada seeing a 3.3 so it seems the activity is moving north watch for activity through Idaho the next little bit only looking at 44 earthquakes in and around the Salton Sea right now so pretty quiet considering over the last few days only minor swarm to talk about here and it is minor and that's through the geysers mount hood reporting about eight to ten microquakes on the southern flank overnight and as well minor rumbles northward into seattle and we're also seeing some action here wanda fuca Canada earthquakes, indeed, small swarm here through the Juan de Fuca plate, 3.0 reported Port Hardy 
and it looks to be about seven of them 3.0 and smaller and as well 3.1 here port alice so port alice but port hardy are shaken seeing about a dozen earthquakes in the past 24 hours and as well northward here towards the queen queen charlotte village of queen charlotte bc so bc is a rockin right now lots of activity on the west coast most that i've seen in the last little bit as well northeastern parts of bc here fort st john bc seeing a few minor earthquakes other than that not much too not too much to report except a couple minor here through quebec up into some reservoirs go figure a little update on earthquakes canada thanks to the juan de fuca and that's the north american plate have a look in south america and they have seen a lot of action today as well starting here in peru 4.6 and as well a 4.8 4.4 here, San Antonio de los Cobros, a continual earthquake spot, as well, 4.5 Chile, 4.8, and as well, a 4.3. So active South American play today, and that was after a 4.9 here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge overnight, or sorry, early this morning, and as well, Croatia seeing a 4.3 earthquake today. Earthquakes continuing through Afghanistan and deep. 205 kilometer depth there, 4.1, 4.0 reported. And as well, a 4.4 here, Xinjiang province, China, Tibetan plateau. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Have a look at the last seven days. Seeing some deep antipode earthquakes here, South America and up into Russia. And as well, deep earthquakes through Kermadec, lots of activity through the Philippines, increasing activity up into the European plate. And what's going on with the South American plate into Antarctic plate right now? A lot of activity the last seven days. Going to be keeping an eye on the world as always. And I want to thank each and every one of you for joining the channel. Thank you for your subscriptions, your memberships, and all of the love towards the channel's research and productions. We're going to look here at Pacific Disaster Center as the storms continue to move eastward here through the United States, Memphis, Tennessee, and as well Paducah, K Kentucky, seeing some tornado warnings today and some storm warnings going through southeastern Ontario as well, uh, central Ontario through Brantford and Hamilton, and Kitchener, and a wildfire is sparking up here in California, Madeira County, and as well Garfield County, Utah, and as well Pina, Pinal and Gila County, Arizona. So it's about three reported fires so far with the Pacific Disaster Center. Stay aware and prepared, and stay tuned to Morning Dew. Overlooking satellite imagery over Russia, Quite a situation went through there. Now, very northern latitude, almost hurricane conditions, storm whipped through there. And it's set to head over to Alaska, across the pole, and ramp up here. Interesting weather patterns, to say the least, across the globe. And we're going to see things ramp up here real quick so heads up and stay tuned to the forecast here coming up got storm conditions through southeastern australia and as well new zealand and as well stormy conditions through northern vietnam india bangladesh myanmar you're all going to see enormous amounts of rain over the next few days you've got quite a situation developing in the bay of bengal right now Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update. Sangay, Reventador, Dakono, Sabinkaya, Niragongo, Suez de Najima, Fuego, and as well Cinnabung. So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today. Not a very busy day for volcanoes, but it is a very busy day for stormy conditions across the planet right now. A lot of storm warnings, as you can see in that list. So let's have a look at the five-day forecast here. Brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. 
starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta, as we have some pretty cool temperatures and as well a pretty powerful low pressure system that's going to be heading into the province this week. It looks like it's just going to miss Calgary. And then watch as that system rolls eastward to bring some pretty extreme weather towards Regina and Manitoba. So quite a bit of rain here. Long line of moisture stretching from southern Alberta up into Edmonton and then further into Fort McMurray. And then watch as this low pressure system develops even further through the week. Manitoba, you could have some very tornadic conditions with this low pressure system. So heads up, Saskatchewan. Manitoba this week. Extreme weather patterns are prevalent. And as well, watch for thunderstorms to pop up all across Ontario, southeastern United States, as all of these lows are set to converge over you guys later. And then join forces, head out to the southeast Atlantic. Long line of moisture stretching out, five days forecast, overlooking the Atlantic. High pressure ridge still dominating all these lows, sending them northward. Except for maybe this one might be able to battle it. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center over eastern Europe still seems to be hanging around, bringing moisture daily, daily evaporation moisture across Europe. And then watch as these clash through eastern and northern Europe. But other than that, high pressure ridge to the west is going to keep things dry. And it's also going to spark the thunderstorms. So some spring-like conditions all across Europe and warming up. And then we get over here to Southeast Asia and as well India. Looking at the five-day forecast, this does not look good. This is a very big low and a lot of moisture associated with it. And it is set to just rip right across India here, affecting both western and eastern shores. So lots of moisture expected through Bangladesh, eastern parts of India, and long-range forecast. So please stay tuned to the Dewu. This forecast could change daily. As well, we've got a pretty intense low here hanging out over the Philippines, heading into the South China Sea. Daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea and N Indonesia. Overlooking Australia, we've got that low pressure system heading to western parts of the continent, bringing lots of moisture here and some thunderstorm conditions towards the northwestern coastal regions. Then watch for another low to develop here in the long range forecast, just affecting southwestern parts. And then it looks like this low pressure system will be affecting southeastern Australia till about Saturday and Sunday till it finally scoots away and then heads into New Zealand. Other than that, New Zealand's dry until then. Overlooking Hawaii, no major weather systems affecting you. Big low pressure system here is going to affect Vancouver and northern BC. It's going to be pretty vigorous as it hits the coastline. No major storms developing Central America. Could see something in the long-range forecast. Moving up into the Gulf. Overlooking South America. Watching this line of storms here to develop. Argentina-Brazil border moving westward towards Bolivia and Paraguay. And up into the Panama. Long-range forecast. And just very vigorous systems developing in the Southern Hemisphere. And I'm sure we're going to see the same thing in the Northern Hemisphere right after winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Overlooking Africa, no major weather system is affecting you either. Except for coastal regions through Nigeria could see heavy rain. Long range forecast, this low pressure system could be affecting South Africa. Stay tuned to the dew. And as well, rain moving into Madagascar, long-range forecast. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. 
pointing out the beast of a storm that is spinning in our southern hemisphere right now, gathering up all the other lows as it scoots by. Versus the northern, where we've still got some intense winter weather affecting parts of Russia and northeastern Europe. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to the world planetary changes. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.